video games, you are literally doing absolutely nothing. You're staring at a screen going into a fake world and you're not doing anything productive. Isn't this nigga like 13? Shut your stupid ass up, bro. The fuck is that nigga on, bro? I'm Dude, you're crashed. not making money. You're not starting a business. You're not doing. You you can't start one either. You're 13. You you can't either. You do know that, right? You can't. You can't. You literally can't. Anything. So get off the video game. Follow me for more tips like this. Bro, you it's are like 10 tips. years you're... old. Yeah, get that nigga out my face. Get out the video game. You can't do you can't do anything with it. Guru. Oh. Cameron, Andrew Tate ruined a generation of kids, whatever that means. So ever since 2022, there has been a rise in like these self-improvement alpha finance gurus that mm -hmm. all yep, spew the same message. Tucker. Wake up at 4 a.m., start a business, start working. You gotta get up early. You can't be no bitch. It's like, not gonna lie, you doing that shit at 9 p.m. I'm going to sleep. Oh yeah, cause you're a bitch. Just like, then I'm a bitch. I'm laying down. Looking out, stop playing video games and escape oh, the matrix. Down, All that jazz, you. right? <laughs> and these videos have become extremely popular because of people like Andrew Tate. I mean, we all saw the method that he pulled in 2022, how literally everybody was posting that man's clips and he was just saying some of the craziest things. I am extremely versed in CPR. I do know how to administer CPR. However- <laughs> It was always that fucking bad, bruh. I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. And since so many people saw it's him like, get success from doing that method, a lot of people are trying to pull that it. same yeah, method bro. nowadays. So now you got all these work. like fake, like Andrew Tate's going around and it, it's pretty cringe. Stop breathing like a f bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit is a victim and it breathes in and out so quickly you can see its stomach going in and out. But what's cringier than that is that these hustle culture self-improvement like finance guru videos have leaked into the youth and now you got these kids spewing that exact same message that they're spewing in these videos when they're like 13 years old and it's one of the saddest but also cringiest things I've ever seen. When you're playing video games you are literally doing absolutely nothing. You're staring at a screen going into a fake world and you're not doing anything productive. Isn't this nigga like 13? Shut your stupid ass up bro. The fuck is that nigga on, bro? I'm Dude, you're crashed. not making money. You're not starting a business. You're not doing. You you can't start one either. You're 13. You you can't either. You do know that, right? You can't. You can't. You literally can't. Anything. So get off the video game. Follow me for more tips like this. Bro, you are it's like 10 tips. years you're... old. Yeah, get that nigga out my face. Get out the video game. You can't do you can't do anything with it. Guru. Old. Why do you need to be making money and have a business at 10 years old? This video is insane to me because the internet has literally brainwashed kids slash teens and the thing in that doing normal things that teens do is a yeah, waste of like, time. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. It's like, bro, just relax. Live your life. You over there. No, no, no I gotta, I gotta be up there. 30,000 push-ups. I gotta... <sighs> Like, like playing video games, <laughs> chilling with me. their friends, ahead, or just yeah. watching a movie or something like that. Apparently, those aren't normal things that teens do anymore. Apparently, you gotta be set with mansions, Rolexes, Lambos, and a whole business by 13 years old or you're a failure. Which is actually insane. How am I supposed to have all that by 13? Bro, by 13, I don't even think I had $13. But before we get any <laughs> yeah, further, facts, number one, either. YouTube, I am not trying to bully slash harass any of these teens in this video. If you're watching like, this video, like, do not go out and bully stuff, slash like, harass bro. any of them. And number two, Thank you guys for 100k subscribers. I, hey. I've never just sat down and just said thank you to y'all. I just wanted to say I appreciate every single one of you that legit sit down, watch my videos, or maybe stand up. Maybe you might be standing up watching this video yeah, right here. Me. But I, I appreciate stand. anybody who pretty much just shows support on this channel, watches the videos, shares them with their friends, whatever. Thank y'all. Now, that being said, let's get back to the video. This may be controversial, but I think teens should spend at least five of their teenage years just trying to become successful. And so before you start hating in the comments, you're not even a teen. 
You're not. Why are they doing this? Bro, this looks so corny. <laughs> Get this nigga off my screen. Friends, let me say this. It literally takes $82 a day to make the average yearly income in America. And online, there's... Literally like hundreds, maybe even thousands of courses or different models that you could use to make that money. Right now I'm doing video editing and I own an agency, so I'm making even more than that each day. And I'm only 13, so you could easily do the same thing. I find this video insane. Moving your hands doesn't add more knowledge, I hope you know. Because this kid hasn't even lived two of his teenage years, yet he thinks most teens should spend five of their teenage years trying to become successful. That literally just doesn't make sense because this man hasn't experienced what he's talking about. And he just oh, talking. He hasn't even lived that long. And he just like chatting, bro. Somebody need to get get on Fortnite, bro. His booty cheeks, you know? That's literally social media hustle culture brainwash right there. Like, I feel like the saddest part is that this kid is 13 saying this, bro. He was 12 last year. Isn't that <laughs> yeah, insane? Facts. It's different if this kid <laughs> lived his teenage just years, then said this. It'd make more sense because he'd have the experience to back up what he's saying. Yeah, but the like, fact that he bro. didn't. Bro, if he was anything around my age or older, I'd be like, I guess. But it's like, I'm literally, no, you don't even, you haven't even lived that years, life. And he's just saying this on his first teenage year. That just pretty much confirms that he's just spewing what he heard online from one of these gurus. It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. Oh this nigga is nine, bro. They keep getting younger. My friends are getting drunk, getting invited to parties and losing. Your friends are not getting drunk. Your friends are not going to parties. I'm going to let you know that right now. They should be on nap time. Okay, they should be laying down. Their virginity, and I spent all night working on my businesses. But just watch, in a couple of months, when I'm... You are nine, dog. Where? I, I love the compassion, but where? I'm going to be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life. You guys are going to call me lucky. Just watch. Number one, your friends are not I love out the dream. drinking I love the and losing their virginity on a... I love the dream. I love the dream. Nothing wrong with that. He probably will, but I'm letting you know right now. Let that shit go right now. For now, until you get older. Sunday you night. Everyone hates Sunday because it's pretty much the prelude to Monday. Nobody is doing anything on a Sunday night except for sleeping, my boy. Number two, who are your friends losing their virginity to? The hookers yeah. in GTA? You do not and look they, a day and, over and, 10. And, 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 and number and if, three, and if they just are, because... If they are, they need to get arrested. That's you're up at 3 a.m. grinding for your business. That doesn't make you better than everybody else. Like, the way that this man is talking is making it seem like, oh, I'm better than my whole class because I'm up at 3 a.m. grinding. And it's like, bro, you're not better than them. Just It's like, I'm not going to lie. you kind of corny. You up at 3 a.m. I'm getting good rest, laying down in my bed, good sleep, what eight hours doing? every time. Over there losing sleep, getting gray hairs at the age of 15. That's that, ridiculous. Here. It's half past three right now on a Monday night. I've been staying up all night working my new business. But what? Please, bro. It's painful as he keeps going on because it's like I need them to just calm down. A few months from now, when my business is taking off, I'm going to be chilling in Dubai, living my dream What's life. What's up with Dubai? going to call me lucky. Just wait and see. This man literally just stole the script the from the last, the last bro The only said. thing that he did differently was add some music and some like little effects and stuff like that. Other than that, this is the exact same video as the last kid. Ju they just said the exact same thing. Word for word, bar for bar. No soldier boy. Word for Shit. word, bar for bar. I hate to be that guy and say that someone no. else's dream is unrealistic because I'm kind of living my dream right now. I mean, I've always wanted to create videos on YouTube ever since yeah. I was young and now I'm doing it. So I don't really want to hate on somebody else's dream. You know, oh, but neither. how in the hell are you gonna move to Dubai in only a few months? That that's my question right here. Like, bro, number one, you don't even have your license. Number two, I don't even think you can put in an application to move inside of a crib. You know, like how <laughs> is this man gonna like, make that? Like they're just making unrealistic plans at like the age of thirteen and like younger. It's like he talking about he moving to Dubai when when you're eighteen. Because that's when you can actually do it. That's when you're legally allowed to do it. You, other than that, you cannot do that. I don't know. What, I don't know unless your parents do it. It happened. It just doesn't make sense. Like I said, I'm not really trying to hate or anything in this video because it's not necessarily these kids' fault. It's more of what they see on social media. Like if they see somebody talking about, oh, I'm about to move to Dubai in a few months, they're going to spew that same thing. But like I said, like how in the hell are you just going to randomly up and move to Dubai in just a few months? Like it, it does not work like that. This is not GTA. You can't just go on Dynasty A 
eight and cop a crib within two minutes. It's not like that. And also <laughs> another question is why are these kids so obsessed with moving to Dubai? Yeah, they don't say nowhere bro, what's else. What's up about with Dubai? What, what's, what's in Dubai? Am I missing something? I swear, I swear, I swear, it, it's probably tough. I've never been. But I'm, I'm a, you know, the states are still cool. I'm, I'm a stay here. Atlantis. When I was young, I wanted to live in Atlantis. I wanted to live underwater with the mermaids, Aquaman, all that stuff, bro. That was probably sick. But now we got kids saying Dubai. Like, what the heck? I just wanted to go Super Saiyan. Never just made that shit. <laughs> this video is crazy, but. It's so sad. Like, he over there stressing himself out. <laughs> like, because this kid is stressing about his parents working at 13. Not about his parents being poor or homeless or not being able to put food on the table. He's like, stressing nah, because straight, his parents just, like, are working, working a stable job when he is 13 years old. Something that is there's normal. Nothing, but see, there's nothing wrong with that, though, because they want to be successful, which is good. It's just like you shouldn't put that much trust in yourself right now, which is good. But I'm glad, very happy that they want to be that. Does that not sound crazy? Like, I understand that we all have the dream of retiring our parents, buying them a house and buying them whatever car they desire. Yeah, but I don't that's think that's like, something no. that you should be worried about when you're like 13 years old and you haven't even finished puberty. I feel like it's just unnecessary stress that this kid is adding to his life. Yeah, but I feel like, like he said, everybody had that dream because I've had that dream since I was like, yeah, 13. It's like, that's what I would want to do young age all because of and a I'm finance here. guru he saw on social media it is okay if your parents are working a stable job and they can provide for you it doesn't seem like you in the trenches my boy like you're living in a nice house dog they want to becoming a millionaire at 14. i woke up at 6 30 and went on a bike ride before taking a cold shower then i spent some time planning out videos and had breakfast after this i had some calls and checked on my discord server before spending some time scripting today i made around 500 dollars, so pretty good finally i edited some reels and went to bed at 10 why do you need to become a millionaire hey but look he doing his hustle though he's doing his hustle though i'm a hey, he he putting in that work it's just like i'll just don't overdo it that's all i'm gonna say at don't 14 years it, old that's like trying to fight millennia time. during the tutorial in Elden ring like bro why are you worried about that and why is this man taking cold showers at 14 like what, what is the purpose yeah, now like, we'll relax, say the good thing bro, out of this video is that tense. it seems like this man has Trust a me, you putting all the stuff stress on yourself right now bro Gonna get older. That stress gonna come. I'm gonna let you know right now. It's gonna get there. <laughs> it's gonna get there, and it's gonna get worse. <laughs> going on you know he's going to sleep at 10 30 he's waking up pretty early like i do think that, that is good but at the same stories. time becoming a millionaire at 14 jesus christ bro Don't realized school wasn't for me, me at a young age became addicted to video games tried to becoming a youtuber didn't really work out didn't know what to do in my You're life i was that... depressed tried no you wasn't bro you still on that path why are they doing that making tiktoks went viral nothing changed though realized i had to change still didn't change though finally decided it was time started hitting the gym tried drop shipping it failed started to make some progress in the gym started my personal brand found a law decided it was time to lock in started my smma making progress towards my dream life he doing good what do you mean i didn't know what to do in life you're literally a teenager most teenagers don't know what they want to do in their life that is normal that is not something that is only happening to you that's like playing a video game and being like oh i don't know what to do in the game when you haven't even passed the tutorial yet yeah, obviously like, you're not gonna know what to here. do until you play the game more it. and that game being life the more you live life the more you're gonna know what you want to do like it's not just something that you just spawn in this world knowing what you want to do social media is dangerous bro because why do we have this teen out yeah. here having an existential crisis Gotta at 13 out, years old the only serious. thing you should be stressing over at that age is the Playing homework robots. due on monday there is no Fact. need to stress about that your too. life when you're that young robots. another thing that this dude said in this robots. video is became addicted to video games and i'm gonna make the wild assumption that yeah, this kid probably robots, wasn't addicted yeah, bro, to video no games and maybe he was just a child being a child and decided to play too. video games to occupy his time because what else can children do way. obviously <laughs> some kids play video games for a long time but i'm gonna be completely honest i don't think this dude was probably one of them i think the problem is a lot of these hustle culture videos are meant for like an older crowd but when kids see them or like teens see them they try to apply that to their lives for example let's say like some 30 year old says i was addicted to video games at 26 but now i'm 30 years old i start taking cold showers and i'm a sigma they're gonna say that put that out online then a teenager is gonna see that at the and be age like, oh. of 15 talking about i was 15 i'm 16 now got a car a business a girl 
sitting there twenty million dollars. It's like, it's just like, okay. Like, well, shoot, maybe I should apply that to my life. Now they're trying to live like this thirty-year-old rather than just trying to yeah, live. Yeah, trying to live like a thirty-year-old man that has actual responsibilities that really does need to lock in, rather than a fourteen-year-old kid who literally has their not. youth like any other kid. I think that's the issue here. Stressing None at fourteen so I can chill at twenty. I'm not gonna lie, that is not healthy. You, man, <laughs> trust, bro, it's not. I'm like, I would've been like, nigga, you doing stocks? If you don't go sit your, look, you gonna go sit your ass down <laughs> Go eat a PB&J. Get on the game. I would've, like, let me worry about that for right now. Once you get old enough, then I'll There was another kid you. that I actually reacted to a year that ago that did stocks. this exact same thing. And I feel like the problem with this is that at you're going to burn out once you're 20 if you're stressing at 14 years old. Kind of the There's no need to stress at 14 when you're living in a nice house with a home gym. Like, what is there to stress about? This, this man is just making up stress like just so he can stress at that age. Day 167 of month just, mode. Four bro, like, I was at their same age. I just knew I wanted to be a good person. That's all it was. It, it was never like no like bro i need to sit here and make 30 million dollars right now in this moment or i swear my family going to die it's like no nah, i was not like that 10 year old I'm entrepreneur young. but here's the thing though if they keep these habits though he gonna be locked in for the rest of his life that's the corniest thing I've ever seen. This man said school matrix. That's the most Andrew Tate coded thing I have ever seen. Oh, that's seen. what he meant. I thought matrix meant as in like a website they were using or something. I don't know. I wasn't thinking like that. That's corny. In my life, bro. I'm not gonna lie. With them boxing skills, mode. please invest in a gun. I'm not gonna lie. Them boxing skills are not saving you, dog. Overall, this is just the byproduct like, of like hustle culture right being hook. so popular <laughs> online. Everyone thinks that they need a Lambo by 16. <laughs> when in reality, but, that's bro. just unrealistic. Realistic. Honestly, this is a bigger issue than just self-improvement or just hustle culture itself. It's more about the impact that social media has on the younger generation. And that's not even talking just these kids who are doing like this hustle culture thing, right? Just in general, I feel like social media has impacted the youth so much. Like if a streamer says something, a bunch of kids are going to go out and say that same thing. If a self-improvement guru says something, a bunch of people are going to go out and say that same thing. If someone's favorite influencer twerks, they're probably going to go out and twerk. Like this pretty much just shows the impact of social media. These are just kids seeing what they see on social media and just replicating it you know <laughs> overall point because i've been yapping a little bit obviously there are some good Before habits that can be taught the from these self-improvement slash hustle culture videos but that really isn't something that you should be worrying about when you're that young that being said this is gonna wrap up the yeah, video if bro, you guys made this they, far they i appreciate you out. once again no i appreciate you guys so no much reason. for 100k subscribers this has been one of the craziest yeah, years bro, of my life and video. i appreciate every video. single one of y'all for making it crazier and crazier each and every day i started this year off with like 20k subs and now we're standing at i think like 120k or something like that like it's pretty crazy and once again thank you guys because y'all are literally <laughs> yeah he deserves it though all right man if you enjoyed that video make sure to check out another video like that you know just click it click it right here you don't you don't got a sub or nothing bro i'm making it easy just just click the video it's on your screen already might as well go ahead click it